Hello, ladies and gents, and every folk person in between. My name is Chatsubo Dude, and I'm here to show you uh, the B class build for the Bebop in Starfield. So, three, two, one, let's jam. And to start, we have my favorite landing bay of all time, the NG6 from Nova Galactic, you can get this on Jemison. And then attached to this, the base of the whole ship, really, the spine of it, if you will, is three more sets of landing gear, the Acculander from uh, Stroud Eklund, and the Pinpoint 4G lander from Tayo. You can get these three on Neon, and you can get most of these uh, components in Neon. And I'll show you why I chose two of the same and then the third one being different. Because that's kind of sep it's going to separate the front of the ship from the back of the ship. And then we have uh, two Polo 2000 cargo holds, which you'll see on the left there that we need Starship Design Rank 1 for. Otherwise, you can, uh, you can stick a hab here or, or nothing at all. It depends on how you would like to do it, but there are no connectors or nodes on these uh, components except for on the top, which is where they connect to the the reactor being our core power component, uh, B-class deep core with 18 power generated, that's important, and our grab drive, which has 20 jump thrust, that's also important. So that's the base of our ship. Now we're gonna start from the front and work our way back. So we're gonna start with the boat half and then work our way to the interplanetary ship half. So starting with the boat half, we have what I call the runway. And we have a three by one from Tayo. That's gonna go plop right on top there. An engineering bay, it's great for a cruise stations. This one has one cruise station. And then we have another all-in-one two by one that's going to go there <clears throat> and uh, and that's going to be useful for passengers and then we have the tip of the boat Tayo cowling for the four bottom hmm, fun to say and that is uh, at the tip of course so next let's do the cowling this is Stroud Eklund Stroud cap A and uh, for the port four and the port aft and so I'll just select both of these, and I'm going to move these right there. And the Bebop in the anime also has this shape at times, anyway, where it kind of like curves out and then back in. Uh, and we're going to do the same thing for both sides. And so select both. And if you're wondering how to get this backward, right, it's just the cap A, uh, and then it's you use the left or right keys to select variants. Right. Cool, so that gives us the top half of our boat, uh, but we'll round out the whole of the boat with these uh, Gamma 1000 cargo holds. And that gives us kind of like that boat slope, right? And we'll just do that for both sides. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> okay. There we go. Cool, so the boat part is more or less done. And now we want to build out the cockpit and what in the anime is the garage. Uh, but here it's going to be a viewport. Right, so I'm going to grab the Stroud one by one and put it right on top here. And add the garage, which is our porthole, right there. And then our cockpit, which is the Stroud Eklund Viking uh, cockpit. I have a CP100, you can choose either one. Um, any one of the Vikings, they're all the same shape. And that is pretty close to a, it's like an approximation of the Bebop cockpit in the anime. And then of course we need some Horizon weapon mounts because in the anime, uh, in the anime you have like these big crane arms that sit more or less on the side of the cockpit 
on the head of the cockpit, and we can't have that here in Starfield, so I put two electron beams up there on some equipment mounts. So we got the cockpit that's looking like a good shape. Now, in the anime, it's rounded around the cockpit a little bit. So I've uh, I rounded it with these big Ulysses tanks. And that's looking more like the front of the Bebop already. And then we're getting into the back of the ship. And this is where it starts to get a little tricky because we're going to cap the back with this big 3x3 from Hope Tech, which you can get in uh, Hope Town. And that's going to go like that. But before we get that far, we have to uh, make the rest of the ship. So let's do that. I'm going to connect first this uh, 2 by one science lab to the left side of the ship, right, the port side. And then the starboard side gets the workshop Tayo 2 by one that's looking pretty good. Now I think we can here fit our next lander, or at least approximate the fitting anyway, just to the back of this. It's going to go right around there. And now we can slide our cap over to cover the engine and the grav drive. That's looking pretty sharp, and it's looking pretty tall as well, which is exactly what we want because in the anime, the, uh, the back half is about a floor or so taller than the front half. Um, also a bit wider, and that's where these are gonna come in. So to start with, let's go with the mid cap. We have a Tayo mid cap. It's gonna go right there. And then a copy of that mid cap just flipped, gonna go right there. And then the engines, the most important part, Nova 1000 from Relodyne, a second, eh, probably my favorite engine so far. That's gonna go on either side. And then we have the nose cap, tire braking engine. And that's gonna go right on the front. All right, so that gives us, I also colored it this specific way to give us kind of like a, again, a good approximation of the Bebop in the anime. <clears throat> nice. Uh, now we can throw on the docker and the storeroom that will help us get into the cockpit from the cargo hold. Uh, so I'll just select both of these and move them right there. Now in the anime, it also kind of slopes back into that platform. So I use two more Ulysses tanks, this time the half tank, to help with that extra slope. And then the exact same setup on the other side. Right, looking pretty sharp so far. Okay, now for the top, we have our shields. Every ship needs one. And then we have these bracers. I use these as like tails, because in the anime they have like these tail fixtures. Uh, and you just can't really make a tail fixture. You can, ooh, can we do that? Oh, we can. They go on the wings kind of like this in the anime, maybe a little bit more back. Um, toward the back of the ship, the aft. Uh, but uh, we can't, um, well, ours, we can't really do that, so we have to get as close as we can. And, yeah, they're looking more bebop by the second. Okay, and then we have these three engines. We need to get some more thrust power here. These are all Amun, well, this one's an Amun 3. The other ones are Amun 2s. Because you'll notice um, on the left over here that the engine power is all the way up. So if we have any more engines with any more thrust, uh, it'll tell us we can't build our ship. Okay, and then just for fun, we have the uh, we have the two portholes in the back. But it also says I have errors. What errors do I have? Unattached modules. Okay, there's a trick for this. Uh, just select everything and then move. Ah, there's my unattached module. 
Okay. Okay. Well, that should be attached to the back engine. Bam. And there you have it. So that is a, uh, that is the best I've done so far in terms of the Bebop. Uh, there'll be a C-Class build coming, but um, I hope you enjoyed this one for now. And uh, I'll see you later, Space Cow folk. Ciao!